Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel and for the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Today again a full video, yes, some Bitcoin charts, some trading tips, some news, some travel tips, some beautiful life advice and there is one question of one of the followers that asked me yesterday down below the video a question that I'm gonna answer today guys let's quickly jump into the first part let's quickly jump into the charts because now it's still a beautiful cloudy day here in Lagos that's a good time to talk about charts because the clouds are above Bitcoin we're above Bitcoin Bam. this is the first chart guys this is the weekly RSI chart uh, on this chart you can beautifully see the movements of the RSI and the Bitcoin price uh, as you hear the waves on the back that's how the chart is moving up and down the waves are coming and it goes and leaving again guys now the important part now in these charts are the arrows that you see in the bottom you see blue and red arrows at the bottom these are the support levels the blue line is the first support level and the red line is the second support level now just quietly analyze this chart look to 2012 we can see that red square in the Bitcoin price on the top of the chart then we can also see the red square on the bottom at the RSI and when we left that red square to the bottom we touched that blue white line that was the first support on the RSI when we bounced from that level that huge green box started to unfold this was the beautiful bull run 2012-13 guys look to that red square just before the bull run of 2015-17 we saw the same there was this red square in the price also in the RSI and then we fell down to the second support level the red line but after that the RSI went up and we saw this massive bull run now look to the last bull market that we had a red square that was the price from 3 to 14k you can see the RSI peaking then you see the RSI dropping again to which line to that red line even lower than the red line and then after that massive bull run again beautifully from 4k all the way up to 70k now we see the same again look that RSI bottomed out completely down at the level of 30 went up again now into the red square and now broke down again out of that red square to the first level of support that blue line could we fall to the second level of support that red line yes we could but probably we will bounce from this first line so I wouldn't take that risk I would be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin because we know this massive bull run will come again guys beautiful chart now second chart then guys we have this beautiful N28 CT time cycles chart traded by CryptoCon uh, this chart just shows you uh, the cycles again from one two three four so one is blue two is red three is green four is a yellowish and then we go back to one again now that one is every time the start of that bull market two is every time the top of the bull market three is every time the bottom of the bear market and then four every time is again that new phase going into the new uh, bull market so that's the accumulation phase that's where you should be buying Bitcoin guys and that repeats every time again if you just look at the chart pause the video and every cycle it does exactly the thing so the tops and bottoms every time are around 21 days from November 28th pause the video if you want to analyze this chart a little bit more because there's a lot of data on it but you can see how beautifully this is playing out every time again and again and at the moment guys we already had that beautiful green point which is the bottom of the cycle we are moving into that yellow point four which is the accumulation phase and that will lead again to point one which is that massive bull run then the last shot guys is this one again a zoomed out version very simple but this is the bearish version I've been sharing already for a few times with you guys because a lot of people expect Bitcoin to go to 200k and 300k uh, this chart is showing you that we could also go maybe just below the 100k because the first time from the halving to the top we went times 31,300 times the second time from the halving to the top we went times 90 the third time from the halving to the top we went times 30 and the last time now from the halving to the top we went times 7 so it is every time almost divided by 3 or 4 -ish. I believe it will be around 40k at the halving if it would be at 40k around the halving and we go times 3 we would end up at 120k if at the halving we would be around 30k 
If you go times three, it's 90k. If you go times four, which is also possible, it's still 120k. So that is the area where I believe that the Bitcoin bull market will end, between the 80 and the 120k. That is when I'm dollar cost averaging out. And if we go even higher than 120k, I will always have a couple of Bitcoins left over there that I can sell at the real top. But the biggest part of my portfolio will be dollar cost average out around 80 to 120k. I hope you really enjoyed the chart, guys. It's very simple in Bitcoin. Zoom out. If you want to zoom in and make some profits with trading then or do your own research, educate yourself in trading, in day trading, maybe with the use of indicators or maybe with the use of a signal group that tells you when to trade Bitcoin, when to buy and when to sell. But I will give you more info about that after the weekend, guys. Beautiful charts and always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin, look at the bigger picture and try to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is way more important than freaking out about the minute charts. Just understand the four-year cycle. Just understand, like I said yesterday, at 25,600, you all should be buying Bitcoin at these prices. You would have made almost 1K profit this morning today, as we are now at 26,500 US dollars. Just understand what I'm saying. When the whole market is shouting to you, yes, we go to 20K, to 9K, to 15K, the opposite will always happen. Bam. Which leads into the trading tip for today, guys. My trading tip for today is avoid over trading. Excessive trading can lead to higher fees and can lead to losses. Just stick to your plan. Don't over trade. Stick to your plan. And if your plan is not working out, you can always change the plan in the far future. But if you have created a trading plan, stick to it. Don't start to over trade because that will lead to losses and to really high fees because of too much trading. That was my trading tip for today. Bam! Now let's jump into the news for today, guys. I have huge news for Lagos here in Portugal. The big news for today is Gorilla Restaurant is accepting Bitcoin as of today. You can now eat beautiful fusion Asian food, including Thai food, the food that I love, and pay with Bitcoin in Lagos, Portugal. It's a beautiful restaurant. It has about 20 tables inside, a few tables outside. The owners are amazing people. I had the pleasure to meet them once because they had one free day. They visited the Bam Bam Beach. We had a chat for two hours about Bitcoin, blockchain, live food and all that stuff. And now, finally, they are accepting Bitcoin. Eat at Gorilla in Lagos and you will be able to taste the amazing Asian fusion cuisine. Plus, you can pay with Bitcoin. What more do you want? Thanks, Gorilla, for being the next one in line here in Lagos. Lagos is slowly becoming Bitcoin heaven, guys. And the important part of the news now, guys, is that even I still do this work every day. I am convincing people to start to accept Bitcoin. You should be doing this also every day. Just around you, all the bars, all the restaurants, ask them, can I help you to start accepting Bitcoin? Install a lightning wallet, start with baby steps, but try to convince them to accept Bitcoin because it's the start of the bull market. Everything that will be paid in Bitcoin now will be quadrupled in the next couple of years. So that will be a beautiful saving for them if there will be another lockdown or whatever will happen. And at the same time, they will have this beautiful asset called Bitcoin that will protect them from inflation. So please convince other companies all over the world. Let's do this together. Let's, go, let's create adoption together. Please convince all of them to start accepting Bitcoin. It's a lot of fun. You will get a lot of nice reactions. And yes, maybe you will even be able to spend your Bitcoin. How beautiful is it? Let's do it together. Bam. Something that I discovered in the last seven years of traveling as a family all over the world, more than 40 countries, is the following. Always stay curious. Curiosity leads to massive, beautiful opportunities, massive, beautiful adventures, massive, beautiful things in life that you normally would not experience if you're not curious. Stay curious. Open the doors. Try to see what is behind that door. Don't be afraid to walk through that door. There is always a way back, but stay curious. Curiosity is a massive gift that we have as human beings. Stay curious and follow your gut feeling, guys. If you're walking through town and you're curious after what is behind that beautiful alley over there, or what is behind that wall, or what is behind that door, open the door, 
walk up that alley, climb the wall, whatever you need to do, stay curious. It will lead to beautiful adventure and more important, it will lead to self-growth. You will grow as a human being if you're curious after everything that you see in life. Always stay curious. Bam! And because I'm always curious, I always want to see what is in another country. I love traveling. When you're traveling, curiosity is even more beautiful because you explore so many new environments, so many new opportunities that you need to stay curious because you need to want to explore what is behind all those doors. And when it comes to traveling, there's one big tip that I can give you guys. Always make backups of your pictures, your videos and all the other digital stuff, guys. Be aware that your iPhone could break down. Be aware that your external hard disk could break down. They can all break. It's all physical stuff. It's hardware. So make sure you always have backups. We as a family are using Mega already since 2017, I think, to back up all our videos because we are making a shitload of videos and content. And if you upload them to Mega, they will stay in their beautiful quality, like a 4K quality, for example. Right now we have an 8 terabyte subscription, which is around 100 euros per year, I think. But for the 100 euros per year, I know all my videos, pictures, everything is stored safely in the cloud and being backed up by Mega, Mega as well. Because for me that's very important, because as a traveling family, we don't have any storage with all our photo albums and all that stuff. Like the normal people have a house with beautiful albums or whatever, you know, or they store everything on Instagram. But aside of your Instagram pictures, your Facebook pictures and all the other social media pictures, but you know how it is if you're traveling, you're making always too much videos and pictures and you should store them safely. Yes, on an external drive, but also back them up, for example, with cloud service like Mega. I will put a link down below so you can discover Mega. Beautiful service, always working. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to be always able to access your old pictures as well. Because if you travel, you don't want to travel around with like six external hard disks that all weigh like three or four hundred gram and you need to put them in a suitcase and all that stuff. It's way more convenient to have the hard disk all stored somewhere safely at a friend's house or whatever and then just travel using an online service like Mega. That's my travel tip for today. Bam. And now to the last part of the video guys, I will answer a question that was asked down below the video yesterday. I want to ask you by the way, please ask your questions down below the video. Please tell me what do you want me to talk about. This needs to be an interaction between you and me. I don't want to just share what I want to share. I want to also share what you want to know. So let me know down below. That was a rhyme, almost a song. Yeah, Didi will go all along. <laughs> now, um, the question was very simple. Didi, how did you transition from your money, euros, into Bitcoin when you went all in? And how do you handle your storage? What do you think is a safe wallet? At the time in 2017, when we went all in, there were a lot of opportunities to go all in Bitcoin, guys. A part of our capital, for example, went in through the banks in the Netherlands because we still had some money on the banks. And a huge part went directly into uh, Bitcoin because the buyer that bought the house paid a little bit with Bitcoin. And for the rest of the part, at that time, you could still use non-KYC localbitcoins.com. So localbitcoins.com at that moment was still this connection site for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So yes, you could take and withdraw all the cash from your bank. In 2017, you could still go to the bank and say, hey, I want to have all my cash. There were not too many questions asked. And then you take your cash and you meet a guy and you do an OTC deal. OTC means over the counter. So that's a cash transaction with each other. You meet at Bam Bam Beach for a coffee. You take 5K, I take my Bitcoin wallet. Uh, you give me the 5K in euros, I give you 5K worth of Bitcoin to your wallet. That's peer to peer. So that was possible in 2017. So huge amount of our Bitcoins are still private. And that's how they should be in my opinion. But I also understand it's becoming more difficult all over the world now uh, to withdraw your cash from the banks. So you need to be creative and search possibilities to do it. I'm working on something that could maybe be very helpful in the future uh, for you to on-ramp and off-ramp your Bitcoins. Guys. So, but more about that in the far future. To summarize, a part of our all-in portfolio went by bank, a part went directly into Bitcoin because we sold the house to Bitcoin and a part went with an OTC deal. So that is how we combine it. 
Now, the second part of the question is, how do you store your Bitcoins? We have been using hardware wallets all the time since 2017. That's where 70 to 80 percent of our whole portfolio is stored on hardware wallets. We can't access those wallets on a daily basis. I don't have access to these wallets at all. I don't travel with these wallets. They are very safely stored on beautiful locations in the world. And those wallets contain more than 70 percent of our capital, guys. So we have been using Bitbox already since 2017, Ledger since 2017. So those two hardware wallets, I really trust. I know there was some news about Ledger lately that could be not that positive because they want to have a backup service. Uh, yeah, and people feel that you're then sharing your private key. Um, I haven't done my research completely to that, how far it's bad. I'm still using Ledger. But to be sure, guys, I bought the newest version of Bitbox and stored my bitcoins over there now uh, there is a third option that we ordered already some time ago now uh, that's jade wallet that's from blockstream but they are sent to us from the united states so i received a letter two days ago that i now need to start, go and pay tax somewhere so that they will send me the package so if you're not in the united states i would not recommend to order the jade because you will need to pay import tax and that's not nice so that was the answer to your question. Thanks for asking the question. I hope you really enjoyed the video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else? And if you have a question, please ask the question so I can answer that one in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching and wish you an amazing Friday. i probably see you tomorrow at the live. On Saturday, an English AMA. On Sunday, a Dutch AMA. I wish you a beautiful weekend and see you tomorrow again. Bam!